Welcome to the enthralling world of the arena, a 1974 film that thrusts viewers into the visceral and captivating realm of gladiatorial combat. Have you ever pondered when you first witnessed the intensity of this cinematic gem? Or perhaps, amidst the multitude of characters, which one left an indelible mark as your favorite? As we delve into the fascinating details of the arena, let's take a moment to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this cinematic journey. We eagerly await your stories and memories in the comments below. But first, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Did you know that the arena marked a unique fusion of exploitation cinema and historical drama? Directed by Steve Carver, the film transports audiences to ancient Rome, where female slaves are pitted against each other in gladiatorial combat for the perverse entertainment of the ruling class. A gripping narrative unfolds, blending elements of action, drama, and a touch of rebellion. Now, it's your turn. Share your thoughts on that unforgettable moment or character that resonated with you. Your stories add depth to the collective experience of the arena. We would love to hear from you in the comments below. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of the arena, a film that continues to captivate audiences with its gripping tale of survival and defiance. Stay engaged, share your insights, and let the conversation begin. In the arena, a noteworthy aspect is Rosalba Neris' commitment to her role. During the food fight scene, she performed her own stunt when tripped, showcasing her dedication to authenticity. This added a genuine touch to the action, emphasizing the level of involvement by the actors. Another interesting detail is the use of real liquor in the party scenes. The decision to incorporate authentic elements in the film contributed to a more realistic atmosphere during those particular sequences. It reflects a filmmaking choice that aimed for a heightened sense of reality, even in seemingly trivial moments. Notably, the entire film was edited in Italy, indicating the international collaboration involved in bringing the arena to life. This choice might have influenced the film's overall style and pacing, as the editing process often plays a crucial role in shaping the final cinematic product. In summary, the arena not only stands out for its captivating storyline, but also for the commitment of its actors, the use of real elements in certain scenes, and the collaborative editing process in Italy. These aspects provide a glimpse into the meticulous decisions made during the production, contributing to the film's unique appeal. Director Steve Carver's debut theatrical feature, The Arena, set a remarkable precedent for his career. In 1974, Carver made a bold entry into the world of cinema with this gritty film. Notably, the casting process held its own share of interesting twists. Joyce Ward, initially considered for the role of Bedisha, could have brought a different dynamic to the narrative. However, the final choice of Roselle Benary, as evidenced by her commitment to performing her own stunt during the food fight scene, proved pivotal for the authenticity of the film. The film's commitment to realism extends beyond the actor's performances. A surprising detail emerges about the set construction. Only a quarter of the arena was physically built. This decision, perhaps unconventional, undoubtedly impacted the visual aesthetics of the film, showcasing a strategic use of space and perspective. Collaboration played a significant role in shaping the arena. From Carver's directorial debut to the meticulous casting choices, every decision contributed to the film's unique appeal. The collaboration extended to the editing process, which took place in Italy, infusing an international touch to the production. This choice likely influenced the overall style and pacing of the film, emphasizing the importance of post-production decisions in crafting the final cinematic product. In conclusion, the arena stands not only as a milestone in Steve Carver's career, but also as a testament to the intricate decisions made during its production. The careful selection of actors, unconventional set construction, and international collaboration in editing all contribute to the film's enduring charm. Italian censorship visa 64941, delivered on 7 8 1974, sheds light on the regulatory process behind the 1974 movie The Arena. This detail underscores the formal approval granted for the film's exhibition, highlighting the adherence to regulatory standards during its production. Interestingly, this bureaucratic step provides a glimpse into the contextual background of the movie, emphasizing the procedural aspects that films undergo before reaching the audience. 
Furthermore, it's worth noting that the arena was initially intended to be produced in Israel, marking a significant divergence from its eventual realization. This initial plan reveals the dynamic nature of filmmaking decisions, showcasing how factors like location can pivot during the pre-production phase. The shift in location might have influenced various elements of the film, from visual aesthetics to cultural nuances, offering a unique angle for exploring the movie's development process. In terms of action sequences, both Pam Grier and Margaret Markov took on the challenge of doing all their own fights and stunts. This commitment to authenticity by the lead actresses contributes to the gritty and realistic tone of the film. Their hands-on involvement in the action sequences adds a layer of credibility to the on-screen performances, aligning with the film's overall dedication to realism. In summary, the Italian censorship visa, the initial plan for production in Israel, and the lead actress's active involvement in fight scenes provide intriguing facets to delve into when exploring the 1974 movie The Arena. Each element contributes to the film's unique journey from concept to screen, offering insights into both regulatory processes and creative choices made during its production. In a behind-the-scenes revelation, it's unveiled that Steve Carver, credited as the director in the American version of the film, faced skepticism from the Italian producer Franco Godenzi. Godenzi, lacking trust in Carver, dispatched Joe D'Amato, who worked under the pseudonym Michael Wotruba, to handle cinematography and assist Carver. D'Amato disclosed in an interview that Carver directed dialogue scenes while he took charge of the arena fight sequences. This dual directorial approach sheds light on the intricacies and dynamics behind the camera, showcasing a collaborative effort that influenced the film's visual and narrative elements. From Carver's dialogues to D. Amato's orchestrated fight sequences, the division of directorial duties adds a layer of complexity to the 1974 movie The Arena, offering a unique perspective into the filmmaking process. Notably, the fight scenes in the arena were choreographed by Pietro Seccherli, contributing to the film's gritty and authentic tone. Seccherli's expertise in crafting impactful and realistic fight sequences enhanced the overall quality of the action portrayed on screen. Each punch, kick, and grapple was meticulously choreographed, underscoring the dedication to authenticity that permeated the production. The choice to entrust Seccherly with the choreography underscores the commitment to delivering impactful action, aligning with the film's overarching theme of realism. While the American version credits Steve Carver as the sole director, the Italian counterpart takes a different route by omitting Carver and replacing him with Michael Wotruba, a pseudonym for Joe D'Amato. This alteration, motivated by a lack of trust in Carver, emphasizes the behind-the-scenes intricacies that can shape a film's identity. D'Amato's dual role as cinematographer and co-director unveils a narrative of collaboration and adaptation, revealing the lengths taken to ensure the film's success. In a distinctive approach, every sound effect in the arena was meticulously crafted by hand. This hands-on method adds a layer of authenticity to the auditory experience of the film. A deliberate choice to forego stock sound effects in favor of manual creation contributes to the film's unique soundscape. From the clashing of weapons to the roars of the arena crowd, each sound was carefully crafted to enhance the viewer's immersion in the gritty world of the arena. In conclusion, delving into the 1974 movie The Arena unveils a multifaceted production process. The dual directorial approach, the choreography by Pietro Seccherli, and the handmade sound effects all play pivotal roles in shaping the film's identity. These behind-the-scenes revelations offer a deeper understanding of the meticulous decisions and collaborative efforts that went into bringing the arena to life, showcasing the intricate tapestry of filmmaking and action. As we bid farewell to the cinematic journey through the sands of time that is the arena, I encourage you to let the echoes of the gladiators clash linger in your mind. This ancient tale, woven into the fabric of history, transcends the mere celluloid it's imprinted on. It beckons you, not just as a spectator, but as a fellow traveler in the vast expanse of human emotion. Now, as the curtains fall and the credits roll, take a moment to reflect. How did the fierce battles and subtle nuances of this cinematic marvel resonate with the arenas of your own existence? Did you find a reflection of your struggles and triumphs in the dust of the Colosseum? In the quiet afterglow of this captivating narrative, I invite you to share your thoughts, your memories, and your personal connection with the arena. 
Let the dialogue extend beyond the screen, weaving a collective tapestry of interpretations and emotions. Your perspective is a crucial brushstroke in the painting of this timeless masterpiece. In the vast arena of our collective consciousness, your voice adds a unique resonance. So, whether you pen your reflections or share them in the quiet spaces of your thoughts, know that you contribute to the ongoing saga of this cinematic gem. Thank you for joining me in this exploration, for lending your senses to the whispers of the past, and for allowing the arena to become a part of your narrative. Your time and interest in this journey are truly appreciated. Reflect, share, and continue the conversation the arena awaits, shaped not just by gladiators, but by the stories we bring into its sacred space.